So my name is Jacqueline Moreno. I am currently the director of REM Learning Center in Miami, and we are a private early childhood program. We are a family-run and operated school since 1982. We are currently physically serving about 18 children in our facility, which is about 10% of our families that are currently attending. Um, however, we have been able to provide about 112 families a virtual platform for learning, uh, our three-year-olds, our four-year-olds, and our kindergarten and first grade students. I would say we get about 30% of our income coming in. I would love to say that our expenses have gone down, but they have not. Our expenses have mainly stayed the, uh, the same. In, in our field of early childhood, our largest expense is our staff, and we have maintained paying our staff throughout this time. We are a family-run school, and as a family, we have staff with us who have been with us maybe 20 years. Uh, so for us, our staff are also seen as part of our REM family. And two, again, in the field of early childhood, when this passes and this will pass, we want to make sure that the families come back to the staff that their children uh, know and love. With our teachers, we have become very creative. Um, as I said, we do have some of our staff on their own premises working virtually with their students so that um, they can provide learning experiences and still maintain that communication with their families uh, virtually. However, a lot of the staff are still here. Having families come back is definitely a priority for us, making sure that the families feel that this is and has been a safe environment for them to come back to. Uh, and not only though physically, but again, emotionally, that is going to be a very different picture right now. And that concerns me because I think that children's attachment and their social emotional development right now is very sensitive. Um, to have children come into the school and now we greet them, but we're greeting them with masks. There's vast research that says that children cannot learn optimally unless they feel secure and welcomed and loved. And I want to make sure that we can provide that to them without them feeling that they can't be, you know, uh, hugged if they need their hug. I mean, these are young children. What we're trying to focus on is how can we continue to provide that sense of love and safety for the children as they're coming back so that they know that, you know, in their classroom, they're still as welcomed as they were before. Child care is essential for many American families to be able to return to work. But nearly half of child care providers have completely closed their facilities, and many may not ever reopen. Closures of child care providers means more demand for the providers that do reopen and fewer spots for children. In addition, necessary enhanced health and safety measures due to COVID-19 could lead to providers serving fewer children. An overwhelming majority of Americans support providing targeted financial assistance to the child care industry. Initial efforts to bolster the childcare industry are a start, but funds are already running out or didn't reach the entire industry. Let's ensure that providers are there so that families are able to get back to work when it is safe to do so. Congress must act to ensure that childcare has the robust, dedicated relief it needs. Visit childcareaware.org to learn more about how to advocate for childcare. It's as simple as this, no childcare, no recovery.